one ever wants anything fun around here. I'm guessing fun to you means a two-foot poofy thing with a birdcage in it. I am Selene Slava. I'm an actress. Right now, I'm uh, an actress on a show called Orange is the New Black on Netflix, and I play Gloria Mendoza. We could use some, some originality, some sass. Mm -mm. Not getting noticed is my main goal. Oh, sass is what lands you in SAG. Mm. We don't give uh, artists enough credit. You know, I think that everybody was ready for like smart television, um, thought-provoking television, um, and that's what Netflix has done with Orange Is the New Black. The writers are incredible. Um, they're not afraid to tackle many issues that have seemed to be taboo for years. You know, uh, look, we deal with issues with uh, transgender, the Latinas, African American. Um, lesbians, you know, you name it, we deal with it. And I think that, I think that's why the show is successful, because people were really waiting for real stories to be told. La semana pasada, tiró la puerta tan duro que agrietó la pared de un lado al otro. <laughs> oh, you think that's funny? You listen to me. You think because I messed up, you're gonna follow in your mother's footsteps? Well, let me tell you something, you're dead wrong. You know, she is different from me, you know, in many, many ways, but then there are a lot of similarities. You know, we're both moms. She's a proud Latina, I'm a proud Latina. You know, and as far as sass, listen, I was raised in the Bronx to a Cuban father, a Dominican mother, and with all the Puerto Ricans in the neighborhood, I, I developed sass, you know, that was like part of the game. From now on, you're gonna come here. Every week, you're gonna bring your homework. And if you don't, I will make your life a living hell, even from in here. I loved watching telenovelas. Somehow I loved all the drama and, and getting lost in a world that wasn't my own. And I had a pretty good life, but it was still something about that magical realism that excited me. And, you know, I was told growing up, you know, this is not for you. Latinas don't, you know, Latinas don't, are not on TV. This is not easy. And I, I still kept going. I still didn't care. I still didn't let that stop me. Is this place? <sighs> we locked out. All of us in a cage. And it brings out and it brings out the worst. I have a voice now. I have a platform. I'm gonna I'm gonna do everything in my power to make sure that my sister is safe, that all the sisters and brothers are safe. And now on my agenda is, you know, the Latino vote. We have to vote. We better register. You know, Mr. Donald Trump had really harsh words to say, and he's probably not the only one out there who has those thoughts. He just had a moment, right? And he just spoke it, which is great, because now we know what we're dealing with. I'd rather know what I'm dealing with up front. So now we know, so let's, let's, let's show them that the Latino community is going to stand together with the Mexican um, community and say, you know what, enough is enough. We're gonna register, we're gonna vote, and we're gonna put people in office who get us and who will work for us. So that's my new agenda. We gotta vote, people, we gotta register. And there's a lot of us. We can make a huge difference, are you kidding me?